Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Thank you for coming over to see what your girl has to say and what I have to review today. Today, we will be discussing one of my favorite mango fragrances, and this is Mango Skin by the House of Velheim. I think that's how you pronounce it, Perfumery. It's an amazing mango fragrance, the best, most realistic mango fragrance that you will probably ever smell in your life. It's very juicy, it's very bright, the opening's amazing, the projection, the performance, all of it is amazing and this is definitely a repurchase for me a lifer fragrance for me like I absolutely love this fragrance I have a review on it so go watch my review on uh, mango I think I included it in mango fragrances I don't think I've ever done a separate fragrance review for this alone but it totally deserves it y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bottle love their bottles they're very unique they're very clean love the edges on the bottles you know I like that they're circular a lot of people don't like them because they don't um, they're not great space makers or when it comes to storing things you know they don't like the fragrance um, but I absolutely love this fragrance an amazing summer fragrance you can wear it in the spring you can layer with this fragrance um, if you want to make something a little more uplifting and more fruity but anyway enough about mango skin I can talk about it all day long I blind bought this if you love mangoes in your fragrances if you love to eat mangoes this is a safe blind buy y'all it's a juicy fragrance it's like you're peeling the most ripened succulent sweet but with a bit of a tart edge um, mango it reminds me of the mangoes in the Philippines not in America y'all okay this is a very tropical fragrance that has been sitting in that warm heat and you know marinating you know on that tree I was gonna say in the dirt but no they don't grow from the dirt <laughs> <laughs> um, marinating on that mango tree in that hot uh, tropical sun y'all delicious okay so um, this every time I talk about this fragrance it makes my mouth water so since I love mango skin so much, absolutely head over heels for this fragrance, I decided to dive deeper into the house of Wilhelm 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 Perfumery. Okay, Wilhelm. Let's get that right. So I ordered uh, six samples from the house. I ordered it about maybe five days ago about a week ago um, it came within three days and it came in this package and it says fulfillment center so I don't know where it came from but yeah it came pretty quick within two to three days actually so let's pull out the fragrances you know they just come housed inside this little package here very flimsy little package so actually I ordered nine of them. I don't know if we're gonna do all nine today, but we'll see. Hopefully it won't be too long. I'm gonna go ahead and spray these on um, these little blotters. I, I could not wait, okay? I'm gonna tell the truth. I did, um, because uh, you know, I don't like lying. I did spray Poets of, of Berlin on, and I absolutely loved it, okay? That is the only one that I've sampled, aside from Mango Skin, because that comes in one of the packets, um, and we don't need to smell that, because we know it smells amazing. Uh, but I sprayed Poets of Berlin, and I absolutely loved, loved, loved it, okay? Um, I don't know if I'll be purchasing a big bottle. Um, I'm not gonna go through the notes on these fragrances, unless they're listed here, but I don't think that they are. Uh, but I know that this one has a beautiful note of orange blossom, fig, there's some green notes. But let's go through, let's get into this one first. So anyway, um, follow me on Instagram. And without further ado, we're going to, if you want to, you know, continue to listen to the House of Veilheim Perfumery, please continue to watch, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you can be the first one to give me your feedback, comment, or whatever else you want to discuss for today. Absolutely love the engagement. I try to get back in a timely manner and let's get into these fragrances, y'all. So um, the very first one is Poets of Berlin. I heard a lot of good things about this. I only read a review on this, but other than that, um, that was my first one. So, you know, I wanted to get my nose on this one. So some may come in packets 
and um, some of the other ones you can just order separately. So, and they were pretty reasonable. I think for these, actually they were okay. It was fair, you know. They come in these two ML, you see I've sprayed this one, uh, these two ML vials. They're sprays, not dabbers. And um, I think they're pretty neat. And the color is beautiful as well. You know, the, the simple things in life, right? So let's go ahead and spray Poets of Berlin on this paper. I'll show you all the atomizer. I don't want to waste this because it really is good. And I want to wear it <sighs> definitely green in the opening. But it's a soft green. You do get some orange blossom. It becomes a little more powdery. I can tell you about this one because I, I wore it on my skin, you know, and I sniffed it, you know, for about six hours. Now, mango skin, mango skin, if you spray decent, it will last you like 10 hours. This one, um, Poets of Berlin, I did spray about four sprays on my skin and it lasted for about six hours. So um, we'll, I have to test out all the other fragrances. So um, in this, you definitely get a fig note. Um, it's very soft, it's slightly sweet. You get some green notes in the opening, but this dries down to a very pretty um, orange blossom musky fig scent. But I was thinking that this may be the next bottle. I know they have the 90 mLs, which comes in like a smaller vial. And they have the, um, I think it's 90. And then they have the 100, or it's the 30 and the 100. Something like that. But yeah. Definitely love Poets of Berlin. And this was a, um, it was a like on first sniff and then sniff. And then when it dried down, it became a love. But yeah, really like this fragrance. It's very soft though, you know? So if you don't like a heavy, it's not beast mode, you know, it's moderate. So, you know, if you like, if you don't like beast mode, if you like beast mode, then you're not gonna like that. So the next one we're gonna get in, and I heard a couple people mention this, but I didn't look up the notes. And this is Moon Carnival. Don't know what's in these, you know? hope that I like them but I think I heard I think can't quite remember I heard someone speaking of this fragrance I'm gonna spray this on my arm here wind is blowing I sprayed a lot I'm getting a gardenia and some powdery like some iris stripping down my arm yeah, I'm definitely getting like a violet gardenia, like a powdery lipsticky iris scent. Probably, you know, how back in the day or the shows that you see when the people, the, when the ladies are in the carnival, you know, they have on all this white powdery makeup, this these big hairdos and this red lipstick, you know? <laughs> these are the carnivals back in the day, you know, when they traveled from city to city with strange things. Yeah, um, it's nice, but I don't like it that much, you know? But I do get a violet gardenia. It's very striking floral note in here, especially when I initially sprayed it in the opening, but it's drying down to an irisy smell. Still floral and irisy. So yeah, no, Moon Carnival is pretty. Uh, leans feminine, but it is not for me. You know, it smells makeup-y, lipsticky, feminine. And floral, yeah, not for me. Now, Poets of Berlin is definitely unisex. So, um, you know, anybody could wear this, but it, in the dry down, because of the orange blossom, it slightly, almost leans to that feminine edge. But Moon Carnival is, is fem it's feminine to me. So the next one we have is a, uh, Basilico and Fellini. Basilico and Fellini. Let's go ahead and I love I love these cute little individually boxed fragrances. So let's go ahead and smell this. This is how it comes. Let's go ahead. Let's spray it on this arm. Basilico and Fellini. Now I looked at the notes initially to choose which ones that I wanted to purchase, but 
do I remember them? No, I just chose some of the fragrances that I was, um, that I thought would smell good. You know, the notes sound good, uh, but I don't remember them. I smell this one already, it smells clean. So this is Basilico and Fellini. This definitely smells like it's a uh, unisex. I'm getting a strong white floral in here. Almost smells smoky, tobacco-y. Yeah, there's definitely some spices. It's a little herbaceous. I'm getting some green herbal notes. Um, maybe cannabis. Smells a little cannabis-y, green, like green ivy. Initially, I smelled tobacco, but you know, definitely getting like some ivy smell. It's nice, it's green, definitely leaning more masculine, um, but almost reminds me of Flor Botanica, but not, you don't get that minty note. If you added a minty note to this and a little more rose, it will probably smell like Flor Botanica, but this smells like ivy. Like a, a with a hinge, a tent, a hinge of um, a hint, not a hinge, a hint of sweetness and green ivy. But I'm hint, I'm sensing like some white tobacco or um, a note that's making it lean a little more masculine. But it's nice. I like it. But would I purchase this for myself? Not a full bottle, that's for sure. But I can definitely see this on a man for sure. So the next one we're gonna get into is Morning Chest. Okay, so this is the one that I heard really good things about. So we'll go ahead and spray Morning Chest on my wrist. It says Morning Chest on the bottle. Now I saw someone review Morning Chest, but or two people, but they were two males. So let's see what this smells like. Smelling fruity. I'm getting some vanilla. I like it. Spices. I'm getting some floral notes for sure. Maybe a jasmine, it's a little green. In the opening it wasn't green, but it's starting to dry down. Slightly sweet. Woody, very woody. Yeah, it smells like cedar or like some type of bark, like a wet bark scent. Yeah, definitely woody. The sweetness is drying down. Almost smells like if you open like one of those old chess boards, if you smell the inside, kind of like vintagey, dusty, woody. It almost, it's giving me those vibes. Maybe that's why it's called morning chess. I don't know. But definitely green, woody. The sweetness is slightly there and I'm getting a fruity note as well. Yeah, I like this, but it's not for me, but I really like it. Yeah, morning chess. Completely different, you know? I'm gonna spray this a little heavier and then I'm gonna come back to morning chess. Spray this a little more on my wrist. And then we'll come back to that. Let's see. Yeah, that gardenia in here, that one's a little strong. That one was Moon Carnival. It's very floral. Yeah. And Poets of Berlin. The creamy, sweet, slightly woody, you know, powdery fig note, good. And Morning Chess. Very, yeah, it's masculine. I like it, but I would not purchase this for myself, but I do like it. 
Okay, so moving forward, you know, um, actually I like, I like them all. I don't love any of them, but out of all of the ones that I've sniffed so far, um, I like Poets of Berlin. So the next one, room service, y'all. Let's see what room service smells like. I'm going to spray that on. Actually, let's spray room service on my finger. Nope. Mm, nope, nope, no. I don't think I like room service at all. Just based on what I just sprayed. No. Yeah, room service. Uh, yeah. I'll be ordering out to go somewhere. We don't need any room service today. Mm -mm. No. This is very strong. I'm getting a really a floral note. Almost gives me like a watermelon, a dirty like dirt. Yeah, this smells like dirt to me. Almost is giving me like an Italian smell, like herbal Italian dirt vibes. Dirt scent, so negative to room service. That's a no, no, no. So the next one we have is 125th and Bloom. So we'll try 125th and Bloom. I'm trying to see where I don't have a smell. So I'm gonna spray this on my thumb. Automizers are amazing, but the automizer is amazing on mango skin as well. So 125th and Bloom. This is real, it's very masculine. I'm getting some floral notes, maybe possibly some leather, tobacco. I think leather though. Yeah. Very uh, masculine. So 125th in bloom. Yeah, a definite no. So we got three more to go, y'all. So I'm sorry, I need to sit back. I'm kind of close to the camera. So the next one we have, y'all have mango skin. You know what this smells like, but I'm gonna spray it last so I can get that burst of amazing fruity mango. Um, the next one, let's let's try out Dear Polly, okay? Dear Polly. Uh, let's spray Dear Polly on this finger. I need to grow some more fingers, y'all. No. I'm not gonna say that. I take that back. I don't I only need 10. <laughs> I don't want nothing extra. That's not meant to be there. Dear Polly's pretty. It's very light. It's feminine. Fruity, like a fruity floral. Spray this some more. I like Dear Polly. I really want to know. I'm going to go back and I'm, of course I'm going to list the notes, you know, down in the uh, description box, you know, once I do post the video so that you'll have a better reference. Dear Polly, super light. Um, is it enough? You know, I'm going to have to wear this, you know, full body, what's left, you know? to see if I want to purchase, but I don't, I'm not getting much from it, but it's a very pretty light fruity floral fragrance. Yeah, I need Dear Polly to give me a little bit more and it's not. So next, um, I think this is pronounced, last one y'all, this is pronounced Opus Core, Opus Core. I'm gonna spray this on paper. Look, and this might be the best one. Save the best one for last, right? And that would be mango skin. Mm. Uh, 
I'm not getting much. Something very light. I'm not getting much at all. Let me spray this on my thumb over here. Let's see if I get more. And this is Opus Core. Put the sheen on that. hope you all are having an amazing day you know I have to learn how to sit up straight in these videos I'm always like leaned over into the camera but you could see me either way right I like opus core it almost smells like a watermelon jolly rancher to me mm. Some people don't like fragrances that smell like food. I don't. Now, I don't like fragrances that smell like pizza and lasagna and spaghetti, you know, things like that. If that's what they mean by fragrances smelling like food. Like, I don't want a fragrance that smells like gumbo, you know. So, um, but a fruit? Absolutely, you know. A dessert? Absolutely. I think this is this might be the one the next big bottle this is definitely giving me watermelon you know like mango skin was giving me mango skin this is giving me watermelon definitely better than the if this if there's no watermelon in here I'm gonna be shocked because that is what I, I'm getting a really juicy red um, succulent like a juicy watermelon, a sweet watermelon. But a little sour too, like the rhyme as well. But yeah, this is definitely giving me watermelon. If there's no watermelon in here, I'm gonna be very, very shocked. But I got, yeah, a watermelon Jolly Rancher, not a watermelon now later, or a watermelon like those sour gummies because those are a little bit sweet. The Jolly Rancher is a little more uh, watery and crisp you know I like this one I like this one better than Poets of Berlin and this is Opus Core yes I'm gonna have to look up the notes after this and this might be my next bottle it's either gonna be this Dear Polly gave, is giving me some rose but like a light rose I don't need any other rose scents but yeah, I'm getting like a watery rose from Dear Polly. But Opus Core is good. And by the name, the name is so ugly. Like, I, I'm i glad I picked it because the name is, yeah. Definitely getting a really good juicy, sweet, uh, tarty watermelon from this, y'all. So anyway, I'm excited to look up the notes of Opus Core. So my two favorite ones, um, you know, let's go ahead and spray this delicious mango on. Scent of the day. Definitely mango, mango skin. Yeah, the best, the absolute best. Okay. Um, so you already know, mango skin is number one. Okay, so I would have to say the next one that will probably be my purchase um, would be Opus Core or Poets of Berlin. So these two are my favorites for now. You know, the other ones, I don't see myself at all purchasing a big bottle of those at all. But yeah, these two, definitely. Um, so I will give you an update later on, all right? everybody thank you for watching my review um i don't know if you all know what the bottles are like but you know they have this really nice magnetic top you can actually pick it up stunning design stunning it's just stunning bottles period stunning fragrance so um anyway go out spread amazing sillage do good be good you know show love and uh get your nose on these samples especially mango skin 
Poets of Berlin, and Opus Core. You can actually go in on the site and pick the three samples that you want and add them to like a box, or they have some pre-made samples, um, and you can just go through the notes or just choose them all, y'all. Um, like I said, they came within like two to three days, and I was very excited to get those on time, actually very fast. So have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Get some rest, everybody.